Today, I am going to be filming this FabFitFun unboxing. Now, I've already filmed this last night, but my footage got messed up and it just wasn't looking good. So, I'm filming it again. And I'm just going to show you everything that I got in this box and if I think it's worth it. So, if you're interested in seeing that, keep on watching. Okay, so the first two things that I saw when I opened my box were these two and one being a coupon for Luna Bars and another being a $50 gift card to HelloFresh. I don't use HelloFresh, but I guess this is just a way for them to get more customers, you know, like take off money and you just like buy it, but I'm a Postmates girl, so I mean, it's cute, but I'll look into it. It also came with a Luna bar. Um, I already ate it. So it was good. It tasted really healthy. I'll say that. But it wasn't, it wasn't bad. Okay. All right. Next thing in the box was this liquid foil lipstick duo, which I actually tried out last night as well and posted on my Instagram about it. And the feedback was mixed. Um, you guys were like, oh, cute, living for this, or um, I hate it. Not mad at it. Comes with two sides. One side is the liquid foil lipstick, and then the other side is the gloss. You know, not gonna, most likely gonna use it for some eyeshadow because I don't like to wear really bold lips unless it's like red or a nude. That's all I wear on my lips. Glam Glow Mask. So these are pretty cool. I've never tried them, but I've heard of them and I'm sure you have too. The bubbling mask, you put it on, it bubbles up. Everyone's like, ooh, I'll see if they work. I might do a video on it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like me to. But yeah, so we got some Glam Glow masks. All right, an umbrella. Why am I excited? I don't own an umbrella. Um, I live in Southern California. It does not rain here much, but when it does, it rains a lot. So, or a lot, what we consider a lot. So I'm really excited. It's nice and cute. It feels really sturdy, so it won't blow away um, and break, and then I'll be sad and drenched in rainwater. So, yeah. The next thing is this teapot, which, of course, like I said everything's unboxed already but it, it came in this it came in the bubble wrap which I'll probably mess with later but this is cute and it has this little thing inside you put like either loose tea loose you put loose tea leaves or you put a tea bag in here pour some boiling water in there put that tea bag in there close it up wait about five minutes for it to steep you serve some tea um I mean who doesn't love some tea <laughs> am I right <laughs> oh this I was so excited about why was I excited I don't own a beauty blender why don't I own a beauty blender I couldn't bring myself to spend $20 on a sponge to apply makeup but I got one so I'm gonna be using thing a dish towel um don't know how practical this is I mean it's not like that cute it's just more like a simple design that probably most people would like or most people it would appeal to I'll be gifting this to my mom she can put it in the kitchen she loves the kitchen she loves cooking so cleaning I, I don't know she'll use this more than I will at least this Vince Camuto bag don't know who Vince Camuto is. Sounds nice. Um, I don't like brown and black patterns like this together. Um, so I mean, mm, it's vegan leather. I mean, would I wear it? No. Um, am I gonna probably put it in a giveaway? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna put that back away. But that's pretty much everything I got. But now, Stay tuned for the retail value of all this stuff. Okay, let's get into that. So we're going to just start with this bag that I just talked about. 
this retails for a whopping $128. Who's buying it? I have no idea. Certainly not me. Oh! But that's the first thing. Second thing, I already mentioned this. This retails for $20, so cool. These two face masks retail for $18 for a pack of two. Kind of expensive when you can go to Target and get face masks for $2 each, but it's glam glow. So, I mean, this dish towel, $15. I think I've seen things like this in the 99 cent store, but this touch of soul metallic duo whatever uh, lipstick retails for $24.99. That's about twelve and a half dollars for one of the things. I don't think that's that bad, but it's not necessarily a color I'd wear, so it's like if it was red, cool. Or like a cool like neutral tone color. Metallic is a little out there for me, but this teapot. 26 teapot 26 dollars worth it hell yeah it's so cute um gonna use it mm -hmm. so uh yeah let's get to the next item this right here 40 dollars is the retail 40 dollars now every time it rained here last minute i went to 7-eleven and picked up a five dollar umbrella now i did lose every umbrella that i've ever had but maybe, um, because it's sturdier, I might not lose it. I don't know. It'll probably end up missing in a few years. Maybe even after this rain season. But it's cute. This Luna Bar. Don't know how much these retail for. There's no retail price since this was a sponsored item in the FabFitFun box. But I did get a $3 coupon off. So that indicates that it's probably a pack of them is more than $3. So. And last but not least... The price of this, oh, well, I guess I got and gave it away. $50 gift card. But the catch is, I did go on the website last night. It's not a $50 gift card total. No, it's $25 off your first order and $25 off your second order. So now you cannot combine the $25 and $25 to get a completely free order. So that's a bummer. So, um... Overall, this box was pretty cool. I was, I kind of had my hopes up because when I was filling out the questionnaire, I did put that I like fitness a lot. So I was expecting, I don't know, to get more fitness things. I got things that were pretty cute. I would say like, I got my money's worth for sure. But is this something I continue? Probably not. Because most of the items in here are things that I wouldn't buy personally. So why just why have a subscription to something if you're not gonna buy those items yourself you know and i'm sure every box is di like it is different so every box would be like a different reaction like oh i'm so glad this box is great but i would say i'd rate this box seven out of ten so it passed it's pretty solid but uh yeah all right guys thank you so much for watching tuning in to this unbox video if you want me to do more unboxings comment like this video and i will try my best with the funds that i'm allocated currently um yeah so that's that <laughs> be sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video <laughs> oh that was so cringy